Ooh, welcome to Rick's Kicks. Um, here's a update on the Le France Aero Chief 1000. Um, as you can see, I've just got a slight mock-up on on the table uh, at the moment on the progress I've been doing over the last week. Um, get all of it without it all falling apart. Me, we'll try and get it like this. So we've got the got the cab all uh, straight up in the um, get in camera the rusty coat. Funny enough, if you look, it says FDE Aero Insignia Red. That's going to make the assumption that's fired from the department engine aero insignia red, which is pretty damn apt if, if that's what the actual colour is. So we've got the cab painted. Um, I've also got the body painted. This is not painted as of yet. That was rubbed down and repainted. That came out quite nice. Um, I have just it's just temporarily on there for now. Um, Take all the paint off of the uh, turntable, and that's going to get a coat of fine primer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave. It. I might actually spray that all completely white. I don't know. All, all completely red. This will be its. Um, that's a silver colour. Um, let's put that down for a sec. I'll drop it. Um, also, I have uh, sprayed up the top and the other hand in there, the sides of the, the ladder, um, ladder holder that goes on that side of the vehicle. That's done. I have got the colour on the engine compartment cover, which goes in there. We have got everything that was chrome, de chromed, and even though it's not a very good fix, I've got my the France back in one piece again. Uh, it's going to have to be very careful with that when I handle it because that little that lever will pop off again. So we're all ready and up and running with those things again. Um, now, the other thing you'll see I've got uh, pins made up here. Um, we the boom it's long you can't get this thing in folk in the whole camera pop the boom apart I've just reinstalled this this week um that was stripped of paint as well uh, I've fitted one of the pins to get the uh water pipe back on there we have a repair to make Get it in that angle, you'll see it better. Here yeah, with the still have the original piece. Uh, so we have that repair to make. Um here on the bottom of the platform. Um it doesn't show it clearly in the instructions, but my dad had these glued wrong on both sides. He had them on low we're away. He had them glued on the inside here, so I had to pull them off, um, re-glue them, reposition them to where they should be. Um, unfortunately, we broke some of the plastic, so I'm having to slowly build up that area to uh, make that a bit more square. So the pins and that are coming along. Um, I should probably give this a rub down. We've got to do a little bit of filler in the back end here because I had 
to take this whole end apart to re-straighten it up because it was a bit wonky yeah, it didn't look good so that's a that's a lot more better on that end um, where the pins were broken off you had a pin that came out of here which went all the way through and was then capped off with one of these one of these little caps um, so what I've, I've had to reverse engineer that way um, so drill a hole in there and then when it's joined together the pin will go all the way through be cut down to the right size and go go back in in the end there um, I'm not going to play with it now because it's, it's a little bit fiddly so that's done um, the other end of the boom <clears throat> there wasn't a lot I needed to do on here uh, apart from refit this ram in the bottom end of the uh, boom so that's all, all now in place this one needed a new, new pin so taking the end caps, drill them out new pin in that one so that piece of the boom is ready to rock and roll as they say um, what else have we done this week I'm um, trying to think uh, oh yeah the the water cannon the water cannon I've had to take apart so I could get The actual water cannon piece out to paint it now that's gonna that will be white but the rest of that up the top there is going to be white so that's that um doo -doo -doo. i have been watching some uh youtube stuff on the France fire engines just to get a basic idea of bits and pieces We're generally on these fire engines and I've noticed none of them are the same are they they're all different each fire department had its own version of the fire truck so it doesn't matter how I put it back together it will be a sort of version of a fire truck so the next up for here is to paint the deck Get this um, primed, put this together, move its in pieces, uh, get some decals on the truck, get the windows in, and put this end back together. Um, piece that goes under the cap now I'm not sure whether to do the aluminium I haven't made my mind up yet or paint it body colour because not all of them are aluminium but I did find in the box four X's so we can at least attempt to put the axes on the side or down here wherever they're supposed to go that I need to have a look at so that's where it is at the moment in time um see with the results the paint's come out quite nice it uh, wasn't as rubbish as I thought it was so um might be getting some more of that plastic oak stuff and uh, yeah so when I crack on when I move on, on a bit further and get the, the the deck and that all painted up and stuff I'll uh, bring you back in again in a bit and back with a another small update it's um, Saturday morning and I've just spent get this in camera very well 
about an hour and a half of pear metal foil in the American La it's a bit shiny isn't it in the American La France emblem on the front which my camera is not doing justice might do it a little bit okay there and the two on the side that's actually a hole there and there there's a little upgrade I'm just about to crack open the decals shortly and uh, I'd have done a bit more in a bit right there we have it we've now minted up in silver I've got everything that I uh, pointed out earlier hasn't come out too bad um, there's a couple of little bits I need to do some patching up on one of them is yes there that's rather huge but that should be okay a little bit of a tidy up around that front end down here and down here uh, on the back there's nothing needs tidying up but the rest of it is uh, how it should be and we've got a tiny little blemish just there but that now after thinking about um, the indicator lights these ones with arrows um, I have noted that there are um, some reprints have these but a lot of the um, what are they this is, this is a Aero Chief 1000 so this has this one but the 900 have light amber and red one thinking I quite like that I don't particularly like these these arrow things so following in um, David's uh, ideas with his um, so following in David's ideas with his jewels it's uh, David from who does all the emergency vehicles um I found in my father's bed a load of jewels and funnily enough they're five mil so what I'm going to do I think is I'm going to attempt to do what David does and put jewels in these I've got lights now if all else fails I do have a La France ladder chief so if I do mess them up which hopefully I shouldn't I can I, I can still use these if I have to or have spares to try again that would make the other kit slightly redundant but um, at least I'll be able to try something or do something but I quite like what they look like now the only other thing that I need to make is let me move this slightly forward on the back of the arrow chief where the basket hangs down you can see uh, you might be able to see it on the camera there's two holes here two. now this is a um so it holds the basket from falling off the back of the vehicle now for some reason it looks like it had a, 
the pinhole here is strange because that that would mean it's the wrong way up I would say so I think they go that way up and the basket sits in that little you can see it there see that little notch the basket sits in there um, the thing is I need to make another one of these there's amongst all of this stuff um, that's one of the pieces that is actually missing so I need to try and find a figure a way to make two of those uh, luckily what well, I say luckily for me um, I've got some good old evergreen uh, rod um, and I think by using that one literally that one and is it a three par? yeah it's a three par maybe that one this is all slightly different size I'm hoping yep, they all slide in each other which is good and slides in that one for sure and then that one slides in that one so I should be able to they are a bit loose I'd have to pad them out slightly with glue or whatever come up with an alternative to this even though it'd be slightly bigger then all I would need to do is cut this piece and maybe take that piece off the end there and glue it in the other end of here then I'd still have to make one more of those, so really I've got to make these. But that won't be until a little bit nearer this end of this um, rescue uh, rejuvenation restoration product of me dad's the France. Unless. David, you know by any chance that there are, is a 3D printable version of that type of part that I could probably download and print off myself, something similar to that. Also while I was playing around and waiting for this stuff, this to dry, which it is, um, I found the hooks the holes, sorry, that go along the top of the leather cheek um, if I could drag the box into view it's left a bit god, it's not, enough, not much room so yeah, these these are actually uh, inside the box as well so when my dad, dad, dad didn't have those on before I can now put those on as well Chuck that out the way again. Making a lot of noise, unnecessary noise. Sorry about that. Um, the only downside to what I've um, tried with my updating from earlier up updating is the decals. The decals, that uh, was pants, it wasn't see through, it was all milky. Um, and basically they look like a, a gold decal sitting on a pink background uh, that's how that won't do so I've now got to look for a set of um, set of decals basically or yeah I'm thinking, thinking we need to get some um, like gold numbers or something so I can no, station brands or whatever on it but it's gonna look pretty pretty pant being bare um okay that's that's all for um this week's uh video 
Right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for um, looking in on this update. Um, I want to thank uh, all my subscribers, each and every one of you, including my new subscribers. Um, um, happy modelling. And I'll catch you in the next update. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.